Yo, yo, yo. What up, world? Y'all already know what it is, man. It's your boy Gio, man. Back with another one, man. This is crazy. Jaguar Wright and this dude Star got into a heated argument. A real heated one, man. It's real tense, crazy. Like, I don't even know, man. Like, that was crazy. I wasn't expecting that. And I know y'all not going to be expecting it either when y'all see what just happened, man. It's crazy. But um, y'all got to check that part out. But then also, I'm not going to tell you every single part of it because I need y'all to check the video out. But Diddy had someone trying to come in there to do a visit or bond him out or something like that. That person almost got in trouble, man. Like, that was crazy. Like, you know, um... That was crazy. I'll tell you something else, too. They're trying to connect Diddy to having his Star Island home next to the ports. That's where all the ships, the cruise ships, everything. That's when, you know, you get on the boats to go out. You know, if you're going to Jamaica, Cuba, wherever it is. Um, they're saying that, you know, they, the, 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 the docks, that's where people having the kids at, man. The people that they transporting, you know, they're saying that's where they're alleging. This is all allegedly. I'm not saying this is true. But that's what they're saying. That's why he's so close to the ports, that whole neighborhood. You know, they, they got the whole operation of the underground tunnels. And they're saying Diddy had an underground tunnel under his bed besides other locations, including other celebrities that they allegedly saying, you know, that's all been attending his parties. You know, they're saying it's 3,500 people that's trying to testify against him and like 120 so far that made it through and, like 30 of them are minors, man, and they're just trying to slam this dude real hard, man, they're trying to get him real bad, man, this is a crazy situation here, man, you know, they're saying that he just changed up his lawyers, he got different lawyers now, you know, he got some other top flight security of the world, Craig, lawyer, and, uh, you know, he got denied his bond for the third time, he got up to 200 million, the first time it was 50, then it was like 90, 100, now it's 200, you know, he got denied that, you know, um, they, they, they trying to mess this dude up, man. They really trying to mess him up, man. Like, this is, this is crazy, man. So like, you know, moving forward, it's going to be even harder for him, man. That they're saying, man, it's going to be even harder for him to recover for this, man, and all the celebrities that's on these tapes, man. They got all these tapes, all this information, all these tapes, man. And it's 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 this is about to be a cluster once again. It's about to be a cluster. And all I'm gonna tell you is may the force be with him, cause he's gonna need some luck. He's gonna need a lot of luck, man. Like this is just I don't even know, man. Like I don't even know what to say about this. Like, like they saying so many lawsuits is coming out, and like he okay, he got a billion. He's spending hundreds of millions on lawyers. Then you know he's he's trying to cover up his assets, everything that he got going on. Man, this. It's only but so much everybody's going to be able to sue him off of. I mean, all these people can try to come forward all they want, but how much they're expecting to get, it's going to trickle down to where people not even going to be getting millions no more. Like, like it's it's just going to run it out, like, with everything that's going on. And um, you're going to have to file a bank for us, see. Uh, you know, after eight years, he'll be able to recover. He need to talk to 50 on that one. Maybe he'll be cool with 50 now. Since, uh, you know, he's going to need his help on this, but y'all got to check out this whole entire situation. Let me know what y'all take on this, man. It's a lot more that's going on. Y'all got to check it out. Check out the video. Drop in the comments. Let me know what y'all think, man. And um, let's continue to run this up, man, so I can go ahead and get the live set. We're going to be turning up, man. It's going to be lit. And, you know, the members, I'm going to have a lot of things special for y'all as well. You know, so don't even worry, man. And, you know, we're going to get it all set, man. And uh, try to have a great 2024 because they're they doing too much, man. And they didn't even get a chance to get cold yet, man. You know, so 
Y'all check that out. Let me know what y'all think, man. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button. Run it up. Run it up. Um, drop in the comments. Let's talk about it, man. Y'all stay blessed. Stay warm. I'm out. But let's talk about your appearance more so on the. Oh, I remember Scott. Yeah, and Buckwild. I yeah, remember that. Yeah, that's me. So let's talk about uh, your appearance. I'm saying you hit a grand. Mm -hmm. I'm saying you hit a grand slam. In case you, you know, Buckwild and I were cool friends. That's my younger brother. But now, hang on a second. Again, let, let me I speak. Let me speak, and then I will let you speak. I said in the in uh, early in the broadcast, you hit a grand slam. I think you'll be on the Joe Rogan show. Any. Any thoughts about that? Please. Whatever I do, wherever I go next, everybody will find out at the same time, like they always do. If I announce myself, people would know how to stop me. Okay. That's number one. Okay. See, I'm of a different caliber. See, I, I, I just found it funny, the hero worship. Jay-Z's of a different caliber. Jay-Z's of a different caliber. You want to know what? He wasn't well, of a different caliber. Listen, listen. Was, if, if if you try to mock me, hey, hey, Jack, Jack, and I watched that on Jack, tape. Jack, Jack. If you try to mock me, I will take your fucking head off. Slow it down. Really? Yeah. How you gonna do that? Oh yeah, I'm letting you speak. How you gonna do that? But propping do, up do, lad. But do do not try to How come at me sideways because bitch, I don't really give he a lied. fuck either way about he you. He lied on Pierce Morgan. Okay. He lied on we Pierce Morgan. We can have a discussion. Receipt, we can have a discussion. You funky nasty bitch, but you're gonna respect me. We can get the fuck off my line. I don't need you to go viral. Uh, okay. I don't need you to go See, viral, I, 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 bitch. He's looking for a moment, and that's fine. Put your, put your man on the phone. If if you can't I will in a talk, second. Talk I just like want to know lady. why you're popping up a liar. Never, never mind everybody else. I'm talking to you right now, you nappy head because loser. Vlad lied. I'm talking to you. Vlad lied. Never mind Vlad. Never he mind Vlad. I'm talking to you, bitch. He would he would never, never invite mind Vlad. You. Put your and man why on the phone. Email put your man on the phone. In June. See, I, see, I'm really like that. I don't give a fuck about all, none of this. You know what? That's all I'll right. put I'm my foot you, square in your ass. Because you're not mean I'm enough really like for me. That. I'm really like that. Now, do you want to talk? Or do you want to try and act funky? What do you want to do? I didn't hang up. What do you want to do? Oh, no. Hey, I'm, I'm right here. She's done with you, okay. bro. What's, what's okay. up with the disrespect, family? What's, what's just, just, just chill out with the disrespect. No, no, That's no, all no. I got to say. Is that your woman? Is, uh, is that your woman? Uh, 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 just chill out with the disrespect. No, no. Don't, don't try and talk on top of me. We're ha having a conversation. Is that your lady? I made sure I is that your lady? Is that your lady? Ask him if he's ready to ask for that 15 year old girl he was fucking that I can turn over to the authorities. At any time. Do what you got to do, bitch. Oh, do what you got to do, bitch. Do what you got to do, bitch. But don't call me screaming. I don't give a fuck about you. I'll make sure she put it on put my foot right fuck in your you, ass. Bitch. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah. Buck can go to jail, bitch. Do what you got to do, bitch. Buck can go to jail, oh, bitch. Screaming. For fucking 15 year old girl. You like hanging <laughs> you, with you, you screaming. Is that all you're going to do, bitch? I'm here. Talk or get off the line. No, no, none of you get. say no, nothing. You say means nothing. You monkey. Nothing you say means nothing, monkey bitch. Now, do you want to talk? If not, get the fuck out of here. I've been going viral. You ain't helping me do shit. They hung up. They hung up. <gasps> She not ask him one question about the intersection between him and Aaliyah and Robert Kelly. This is insane that people keep refusing to see what's right there. Do if the Me Too movement were real, why aren't they speaking now? They've also been very quiet in this time of the diddler's downfall. Jaguar. Guess if they this, on vacation. If this goes to court, Jaguar, do you think the, the world is going to be shocked by what comes out? Oh, absolutely. I just don't know why they are. It's been happening in front of everyone's faces for decades. For decades. How many victims... What's the difference between me and Judy Garland? Social media. How, how many victims... There was none for her. How many, mm -hmm. how many victims, potentially, do you think there could be? Thousands. Thousands. I've talked to hundreds that I deal with still myself. 
I have three victims right now who are willing to give testimony about not only what Mr. Carter has done to them, but his wife as well. They're a nasty little couple. They do nasty things. What do you think happened with Kim Keeping Port people against their will. Hmm. Putting people on planes while they're unconscious, just like Aaliyah got on that plane. Unconscious. There's a lot of things that people don't want to talk about, Pierce. Listen, like I said, Jay-Z and Beyonce are not here, uh, unfortunately, to respond to that. I know. Um, I I'm just being honest with you. No, you're perfectly entitled to your, to your views, obviously. Uh, Kim Porter, yes. a new book claims that Diddy may have been involved in her early death. What do you think of that? I, I think people should really look into that more. I am friends with Albie Shore. I love him. I love his children. I, I knew Kim. We used to all hang out together at the Kit Kat Club back in the mid-90s when Diddy was first starting his reign. I watched that whole thing happen. And everything that Albert has been through, every attempt on his life that has been ignored by the authorities, it all leads back to Diddy. And everyone knows it. The wiretapping of the phones, putting air tag on children during visits, these are normal practices that these people do. Jaguar. Um, I've got to leave it there. I really appreciate you joining me. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for having me. And thank you for caring. I do care. Thank you very much. Uh, well, I'm joined now by the host of Vlad TV, DJ Vlad. Uh, DJ Vlad, I mean, it's pretty horrifying listening to these testimonies. Um, what, what did you make of what you just heard? Uh, well, Jaguar Wright is known to be a conspiracy theorist. Uh, I don't really close on anything that she says. Uh, I've never had her on my show, and I don't have any plans to have her on my show. Um, you don't believe her? She got an album in 20 years, and a lot of this stuff is just stuff she's heard, things she's making up, and so forth. Uh, I'm not saying that there aren't serious things that Diddy may have done, but, yeah, I can't close on anything that Jaguar Wright is saying, if that's your question. Well, I mean, obviously... Since we last spoke, there have now been these charges against Diddy, which are incredibly serious. You didn't think yeah. at the time uh, we last spoke that he was likely to face these charges. Are you surprised it's come to this? I'm not surprised because I feel that law enforcement in general is reactionary. Mm. I think that when you look at high-profile individuals, their arrests, indictments usually come after a documentary, uh, a big TV show, or in, in Diddy's case, it was this huge lawsuit that Cassie filed that everyone got to see all the details and all the attention that came to it. So, yeah, it wasn't a surprise uh, that it actually happened uh, because you've seen this happen over and over again. R. Kelly, um, uh, Harvey Weinstein, all the attention that they got, and then now uh, Diddy. So, yeah, I mean, this is ultimately the world that we live in. Um, but he'll have his day in court. And, you know, his lawyer said that he's not going to take a plea deal because I think a plea deal at this point is probably going to be very heavy handed. So you want to know why there's no vindication for me? Mm. Because for four years I've been screaming, not just Diddy, but Diddy and Jay-Z are monsters. And the victim making machine kept going on. Jay-Z has been notable by his silence since uh, these charges were brought against Diddy. Why do you think that is? Because that's what he does, a response that changes now, Sean. You must respond. You have no choice. Harvey Weinstein, Jeffrey Epstein, Robert Kelly, Sean Combs have one person in common professionally and privately sean carter this has been a fist of tyranny that has been punching through our culture and our society for decades it must stop right there's been a lot of uh rumor mill about what has happened in the rap world a lot of allegations that the misogyny and the lyrics 
clearly was based on mm. a general misogyny towards women away from the music. Yes. And that clearly seems to have been borne out yes. by these charges against Diddy, which if he's found guilty of all this, he's never coming out of prison. How dangerous do you think... Thank God. He, how dangerous do you think he is as a person? I think he's one of the most dangerous people I've ever met. A lot of people have been questioning, well, she doesn't really know him. She has no knowledge of him. She doesn't have a picture with him. I'm smarter than Claudia Jordan. I would never take a picture with the devil. Everyone knew he was the devil. He's been the devil for 30 years. He's been covered and protected by not only Clive Davis, but Lucian Grange. He was selected to be the demon that he is to keep the culture in line so the industry could continue to rape it for all of its precious jewels. We have too many lost. The list of lost is ridiculous. And everyone knows Diddy was selected for this job. So Hollywood has always been a black male ring, but who sits on top of it? You see, something that strikes me as odd about this Diddy case is his demeanor. And his demeanor reminds me of Jeffrey Epstein. Jeffrey Epstein always kind of had this smirk on his face. You know, everything was coming down and he seemed remarkably calm, always smiling. I guess you would be smiling if you were the person that had been collecting blackmail on people and knew that you had video footage of people, maybe even the people that were prosecuting you. Jeffrey Epstein, you're like, yeah, um, this is this is really cute that you think you're going to put me in prison when I've got videos of you doing some crazy things on my island. Diddy has that same air of pretension about him. And just 30 minutes before he got arrested, I'm going to show you this. It's unbelievable. Diddy's laughing on the side of the road. Take a look at this clip. So this was from TMZ. You can see he's just like dapping up the homies, just dapping up the homies on the side of the road, laughing. Yeah, it's all good. Pat said, yeah, I got to go to prison real quick. Yeah, I'm about to get arrested. Yeah, yeah, I'll see you. I'll see you on Tuesday. Love you, my dude. That's what he's doing. A lot of people are curious about the status of P. Diddy. Status of what? Uh, P. Diddy. Diddy. Puppy. The status of Puppy. Yeah. What do you make of that situation? All right. No comment from Clive Davis on P. Like selling your soul is like it's like if I it's like if somebody tells you to do something this that doesn't align with your morals and principles. You get what I'm right. saying? I could have did one or two things and and been what I'd, I'd have been about at about the 500 million mark by now. Facts. Facts. It was. 400,000 a day for me for the rest of that year, 2020. Like, 400,000. We ain't talking about after parties. We ain't talking about any other uh, business relationships that got fucked up through it. You know what I'm saying? Like, we ain't talking about none of the other shit. But I'm just talking about what was already on the calendar. You get what I'm saying? It was, yeah, it was sweet. I was up out of here. I was going to have that, that Tyler Perry motherfucker, that runway in the, in the backyard. Right. Facts. FBI's investigation of Diddy's mansion tunnel uncovers a shocking discovery, part four. After finding a locked door and numerous footprints on the ground, the FBI made another startling discovery. As they approached the tunnel, they found adult items and handcuffs scattered on the pavement, and a pungent smell filled the air, like something was rotting. With neighbors reporting strange noises coming from the mansion, the situation becomes even more chilling. It raises suspicions about what dark activities Diddy may have been involved in inside that tunnel. The tunnel also appears to be part of an underground network that connects several celebrities' homes. I can't reveal who yet, as even the FBI hasn't confirmed the details. When the FBI interrogated Diddy in prison, he denied knowing anything about the tunnel, but it was no use. The FBI is close to uncovering the truth. After their in-depth investigation, the full story is about to come to light. You definitely won't want to miss this. Follow this page and check the comments for part four. The FBI found a notebook with secret recordings of Dee Dee's parties this morning, and the footage left everyone in shock. In the early hours of the day, agents received a tip-off alleging that a device containing secret recordings of his parties was located at the rapper's mansion. Immediately, the agents headed to Dee Dee's mansion, where they were greeted by his staff. 
who seemed extremely nervous. They tried everything they could to prevent the agents from searching the mansion, but their efforts were in vain. Upon entering the rapper's bedroom, they couldn't find any clues leading to the device. However, when one agent stepped on a specific part of the floor, they heard a hollow sound. Curious, the agents grabbed tools and broke through the floor, and what they found was shocking. A black safe with a password. After 10 minutes of attempts, they finally managed to open the safe and discovered a seemingly ordinary but pristine notebook. When they powered it on, it requested a password for access. The agents, experts in cybersecurity, were able to crack the password in a matter of minutes. Once the content was displayed, the room's atmosphere became tense. The agents exchanged alarmed glances, realizing they had stumbled upon something far worse than they had anticipated. What they saw was terrifying. Comment on the secret recordings for part two of this case. The FBI's investigation into the mysterious tunnel at Diddy's mansion has taken a wild turn, part three. After discovering locked rooms and bizarre intersections, agents are piecing together an underground network that may connect to several celebrity homes, including the infamous Playboy Mansion. What did they find? As agents split up to explore, they stumbled upon signs of recent activity. Fresh footprints, strange markings on the wall, Walls and unmarked vehicles spotted nearby. Neighbors reported hearing late-night gatherings and unusual sounds coming from the mansion. Could this be a secret hub for Hollywood's elite? Diddy, who was taken in for questioning, insists he had no clue about the tunnel. But with surveillance footage showing a mysterious figure entering just before the tip-off, things are heating up. The media is buzzing with speculation. Are these tunnels part of a larger conspiracy? Are they used for parties or something even more sinister? As the FBI digs deeper, fans and followers are on the edge of their seats, eagerly waiting for the next reveal. What happens next? You won't want to miss it. Follow this page and comment list to see part four. You don't gotta clap. You don't, you don't, you don't gotta clap because I'm at a point in my life like we all grew up in the streets and we try to be better, but they labeled us felons. Send us back to jail. I had to fight against that the whole time to gain my respect and be who I am today. And I'm proud of that. And I'm... People know I don't even really drop tears, but I want to say this because there's a lot of young men that follow me in the street and they don't really know what I go through to like even be in these places with government officials to even change my life, to get on a stage, to be able to speak for a lot of people. I, I didn't ask for this position. I don't want to do it. It's not for clout. It's something that I stand for. It's something that I live for, and I appreciate y'all for helping me. Wallow back. Remember the judge that denied P. Diddy bail? Guess what? That judge is no longer on the case. They've assigned Diddy a brand new judge not only that p diddy now has the opportunity to appeal the denial of his bail meaning that if he wins he could be out on bail i don't know about y'all bro but this does not seem like a coincidence to me whatsoever people might be working with p diddy to get him out of the situation after all and the problem is if diddy is able to get out on bail he will now be able to intimidate all of the witnesses he will now be able to use his power to stop people from coming forward and to pay people to get off. And as evil and as vindictive and as cutthroat as Diddy is, people are going to start dropping like flies, bro. And not only that, I wouldn't be surprised if people just completely retract their stories. But who knows? Diddy really might be in a whole world of trouble. But this is just very suspect. It's very sus and it looks crazy, bro. Breaking news. Five celebrities were filmed in Diddy's party and the video was sold for $500 million. Please don't be sad and shocked once you hear the names when I mention them. So listen up, there is more. Well, Jaguar Wright just shocked everyone, saying Diddy sold a crazy freak-off party video for a whopping $500 million on the dark web. Yes, $500 million. This is crazy. And guess who's allegedly in this footage? Big names like Justin Bieber, Drake, Rihanna, Nicki Minaj, and Chris Brown. Yeah, you heard that right. Wright claims Diddy, 
who's facing major charges like sex trafficking and racketeering, was desperate for cash, so he sold this exclusive footage from a wild party in Calabasas. And apparently it was traded using something called Dark Coin, which keeps it from leaking to the public. But hold up, there's no actual proof that these celebs were involved in anything illegal. Fans are already buzzing on social media, calling out Jaguar Wright for making wild accusations. Some people are even mocking her, saying she's just name-dropping for attention. Oh, shit. I knew I was supposed to be living like this, man. I always knew. Welcome, Mr. Drewski. That's a cold town, Mr. Drewski. <laughs> Mr. Drewski Combs now. <laughs> Waiting on the girls to come up in here. I know you got them. Right here, we have a world-class piano okay. that no one has okay. ever touched before. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a one of one. Woo, y'all got some nice shit in here, man. It smell like puff in here. Ah, what y'all want to do? Which one I want to wear today? Woo! Can't do without the silk! Woo! This is the Vinci! Baller shot color! Spread love, baby! Spread love! <laughs> Owned by a black man. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. <laughs> From the beginning, what we went through, and to see him on that stage and know that he did that, I had nothing to do with that at all. I, I had legal guardianship of Usher when, when you know, he, he did his first album, I did Usher's first album. And you were 14 years old, right? I thought I was 13. 13? Yeah, I was 13 and I went over. Do you to... feel like that took away from your childhood at all? No, actually, I, I was living every day. Allegations about Diddy's sick PDF file behavior are getting worse by the day, and after all those stories we heard about the so-called Diddy or Puffy flavor camp, new details are surfacing about parents who allegedly sold their kids to Diddy. And you already know Usher's mom is on the top of the list when it comes to these allegations. There have been disturbing rumors for years now about Diddy allegedly doing unspeakable things to Usher during their sleepovers, and now the spotlight is on Usher's mom, Jonetta Patton, because she allegedly gave Diddy guardianship of young Usher and turned a blind eye to the horror stories about Puffy Flavor Camp. Not only that, but according to Diddy's bodyguard, Gene Deal, Usher once ended up in a hospital after one of his sleepovers with Diddy, and Jonetta still allowed her son to stay at Puffy's. That's my point. You can't be so happy to change shit that you fuck up your life. You know how many celebrities went to Diddy's house? <laughs> Thinking they was finna dance? <laughs> How does that feel? You a grown ass man. You gotta leave Diddy party like that. You can't even sit down in the car. You gotta drive all the way home standing up. I just had a question. I'm just trying to tell all these young cats out that's trying to come up, you know, like, where do you think they gotta go to? From your point of view, you know what I'm saying? What is the best advice you could give them? Because I be telling them, like, my best advice is they gotta do it their whole new way, a different way, like, like, like they from another planet. But coming from you, coming from the man of, of, of men right now, tell them something, tell them something good. I mean, first of all, you want to stay away from these diddy bop motherfuckers. Motherfuckers dancing all on the motherfucking stage and shit. They want your ass. You call them astronauts. So be afraid. Be very afraid. You really ain't built for the game. Uh, something. Something. Something no, like that. Don't be trying to be famous. Like you're going to run into a motherfucker like that.